One of the more important questions of contemporary international security concerns the future relationship between uh, the United States and China. Will that relationship be cooperative or will it involve uh, conflict? There are two very different approaches to answering this question. One based upon uh, globalization and its effects on interstate relations. The other more traditional approach based upon uh, geopolitical analysis. The more optimistic globalization theorists point to the growing interconnectedness of the world economy and especially the interdependence of the American and Chinese economies, which means that uh, any uh, serious dispute which might uh, involve both powers uh, will be uh, dealt with uh, in a peaceful manner. Both countries uh, have a common interest uh, in resolving any serious differences. The other more uh, pessimistic geopolitical approach based upon the ideas of Mackinder and Spikeman focuses its attention on a growing uh, strategic difference between both countries over the uh, Pacific Rimland. According to this view, uh, the Chinese, uh, with their uh, disputes with other countries in the region over islands in the South and East China, China Seas, uh, together with its build-up of maritime um, capabilities and the uh, air defence identification zone, which has been uh, implemented, all add up to um, what is perceived uh, in the United States and in uh, many other countries in the region uh, as an expansion of Chinese influence. Uh, in response to that, uh, the United States uh, has uh, built up uh, its own uh, maritime forces, the pivot uh, towards uh, Asia, as it's often called, and uh, also that the United States has uh, military alliances with uh, many uh, of the countries in the region who are in uh, dispute with China. Many people think that this raises uh, all sorts of questions of miscalculation and possible conflict between the United States and China in the future. So are we uh, heading for a, a new Cold War in the Pacific region? Or will uh, globalization dampen down the traditional uh, power politics uh, which uh, has involved conflicts between great powers in the past. Uh, this is uh, one of the questions which is dealt with uh, in the chapter on global and international security uh, in the new edition of the globalization of world politics. <laughs>